Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna go over some Active Directory pen testing cheats and a little guide that I created for the course that I'm creating, but I wanna give you a little sneak peek. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share. Let's jump into the video and have some fun. All right, so here we are. So today we're gonna to be learning Active Directory for beginners. So some understanding about Active Directory and some basic commands that we can utilize when we're trying to do an assessment or a pen test. So what is Active Directory, right? So let's go ahead and go to the next screen here. I know my big head is in the way, so I'll have to read off to, to, uh, to you guys for those last couple words. But the key components of AD these are so critical for you to understand before you even start attacking it, right? So we have an object. These are, you know, OUs, organizational units, printers, users, DCs or domain controllers, computers, etc. right? These are all different kinds of objects. The next one here we have is attributes, right? So an attribute is a computer object that contains attributes such as a host name or a DNS. And then we have schema. This is super, super important to understand the schema. So the schema is in, Active Direct is in Active Directory, AD. It's like the blueprint that is defines all the objects that are in their attributes within directory, right? So it tells the AD what kinds of things like users, computers, printers that can exist and what properties those things can have, right? So that's the schema of AD. The next thing here we have is domain. So a domain in Active Directory, AD, is a logical group, right? So it's a logical group of networked computers, users, and resources that share a common database and security policies, right? So it acts like a boundary uh, for managing and securing resources within the network. So that's your domain. So the next one here is forest. So a forest in Active Directory, AD, is the top level structure that contains one or more domains sharing a common schema and allowing them to communicate and share resources. For an example, so when it says top level, so we have infosecpat.com. So then we can have child domains in your forest. So you can have florida.infosecpat.com or dot local, or you have New York and so on and so forth. So all of that contains in your forest. Then the next one here we have is tree. A tree in Active Directory is a collection of one or more domains that are connected in the hierarchy structure, sharing a namespace for formatting parts of a larger forest. So we have the tree. It's like sort of like a tree, like when you know when you're going outside. Let's go to the next one. So we're going to go over some tools and some of these tools are in Linux and I have some Windows tools. These are tools that I use and I'll be using in my course. So we have Bloodhound, right? So Bloodhound is a tool like Google Maps for Active Directory. So it enumerates AD and creating a graphical representation of the possible attack paths. So if you ever hear of, oh, I wanna open up Bloodhound to see the shortest path to DA, it's gonna show us a fancy graph but like in my course, I want to show that, but these are just the tools that we utilize in Linux as pen testers. So then we have in packet. This is just a whole bunch of Python scripts to attack AD, right? For interacting with Active Directory, from enumerating and attacking, you know, to remote access, right? So the next one here is probably, I should have put this one number one, is Responder. So Responder is a hacking tool used to capture and manipulate network traffic in Windows environments. So say for an example, I wanna listen in to see your LT NTLM v2 hash. Now I'll listen in with Responder and I'll show you guys some uh, demonstration of the commands that I use and I can listen in and we can capture your hash and then we can take that and use something like uh, crack map exec to patch that around or hash cat to actually try to crack that password. Uh, so crack map exec or net exec, the next one here, is a multi-use Active Directory enumeration and attack tool that can be used with various protocols, including SMB, WinRM, LDAP, RDP, and so many more. What I would recommend for NetExec and CrackMapExec is utilize these tools and get used to them, especially if you want to start doing internal assessments. These are so critical. And the next one is, I don't know if this is how you say it, but I want to probably butcher it, Rubus or Robus, whatever. It's a, it's a tool that I use. I don't even know how to say it, but it's a C program toolkit for interacting with and abusing the Cobros 
protocol. So it's pretty much Kobros and AD, we have to, we can abuse that and we can utilize a tool like this. So the next one here, I think this is how you say it, Certipi. So this is a tool to enumerate and attacking Active Directory certificates. So we're gonna use this to attack ADCS, which is Active Directory Certificate Services. So yeah, that's the next tool. And the, la uh, the next one here is Hashcat. So this is a tool to perform offline password at uh, password attacks. And the last one here is Win Evil WinRM. So this is a cool tool that you can use for remotely getting into a machine, to a host, via WinRM using an L uh, NTLM password hash, clear text password, or Cobros authentication. So some of the Windows tools that we have here are Mimikatz, and obviously this is a really, really powerful tool for extracting passwords, hashes, and other credentials information from Windows hosts, and it can be used in various AD attacks. So if you're studying for like OSCP, PMPT, PJPT, maybe CRTP, and all these other certifications, you're gonna need to understand this tool in order for you to extract. And there's other tools like hash dump and secrets dump and etc. But Mimikatz is definitely one that you want to have in your in your arsenal. Then we have Pincastle. This is another one I use. It's an excellent tool for auditing AD security from the top down. So this is an awesome, awesome tool. Sometimes finds issues with other tools that, that other tools miss. It's a obviously it's very, very useful for recommended further and harden, hardening steps for your customers in their pen test report. So PowerView is another one. I think they uh, they decommissioned this tool, but I still use, I still have it installed on one of my VMs, so I still use it at, at times. And it's a powerful PowerShell tool for enumerating and at, uh, attacking AD. It can also be used to dig very deep into various AD objects and for some attacks like Cobrosing. And the last one here is SharpHound. It's a C program that collect, uh, data collector for Bloodhound. So you take SharpHound, you take your data and you throw it into Bloodhound. And there is also PowerShell ver uh, versions and Azure Hound for enumerating Azure environments. And then you can check out, you know, some different modules and hack the box and so, so on and so forth. So I pulled this right from the internet. I think this was right from uh, hack the box because when I was doing the CPTS training, I was taking my notes and I thought I can utilize some of their tools of some of their commands and I was just using it as well. Pseudo responder dash I interface and then capital A, this is start responder in analyst mode. So this is how you would run this tool. The next one is a uh, co cobrute username dash D, which in my case, my domain and my environment is infosecpat.local dash dash DC IP address. I should have put just the IP address in my environment, but I was too lazy to turn on my VM. So I just put IP address. So where it says IP address, you will put your IP address and then space. I put pat.com and then put the output to, you know, curb results. And this will enumerate valid active directory users for password spraying. The next one here is hashcat. So you can do hashcat dash M 5600 and then pat that underscore NTLMV2 which will be the, the 5600 is the mode for NTLMv2 and then, you know, your rocku.txt. And this will attempt to crack the NTLM, LTL, NTLMv2 password hash gathered from responder using the Hashcat tool. And then you have crack map exec, SMB, you know, your IP address, user, pat, password, password123, and then pass policy. This will, you know, enumerate the domain password policy using crack map exec. And then the next one here is an uh, enum for Linux dash P IP address. And this will leverage any SMB null sessions on a domain controller host to verify the domain password or the domain password policy. And the last one here is get SPNs dash DC dash P uh, IP and then your IP address of your of your server. And then in my case, infosecpat.logo slash pat. And this will uh, utilize Cobros from a Linux attack host. So that's pretty much it. And I really want to thank you guys for taking a sneak peek for this video. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next one.